so welcome back to the library. Um, I only have one book this week, but it's a really, really good one. Uh, it's Sabriel by Garth Nix. Um, I have been told people for a long time to read this one, and I... It didn't look like my kind of book. Um, I, I just took a really long time to get around to reading it, and now I'm kind of sorry that I did, because it's amazing. Um... It follows this young girl named Sabriel, uh, who is a necromancer. Um, she is one of one of a line of necromancers who actually, instead of raising the dead and bringing hell with it, they help the dead be put back to rest. Um, and starts off and she finds that her father is missing so she goes on a kind of a quest to find out what happened to him and see what she can do to save him if he's in trouble um meets uh meets some really great characters along the way there's a cat named Moggett who is not a cat um and the it's just really wonderfully written it's kind of darker than you would expect for a, a YA or children's book, because, you know, necromancy means you're probably going to see the dead at some point here. Um, but you really, you really grow to like Sabriel, especially. Um, it took me a little bit to get into it, just because it doesn't set out the world, the uh, rules for the fantasy world right off the bat, which... I am not, I don't read a lot of fantasy, so I kind of need the rules set out to give me grounding. Uh, but once once I got to the point where I kind of under, understood the world better and I had kind of connected with Sabriel and the other characters in the book, I I loved it so much. Uh, the last like half of the book especially, it was just I was on the edge of my seat waiting to see what happened next. I kept making noises and sounds and exclaiming things and had my husband look at me like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> um, because I, I kept getting very excited. It was very, it was, it's a very exciting, uh, exciting book, especially near the end. So, I really recommend it. Uh, it's, Sabriel's such a, a quiet heroine, and she, she's kind of great because even if she's afraid or she's worried about what's happening and she doesn't think that she can handle it, she's like, well, somebody's got to handle it, so guess it's going to be me. Um, she does, This book does a really great job of just crafting a wonderful heroine and wonderful characters. Um, it does... The, one of the problems that I did have with it, though, is sometimes the point of view slips suddenly. It's written in um, third person, but it's written kind of third person limited, so your focus is on one character and what they're thinking and uh, experiencing, and sometimes it slips suddenly from one of the characters to another and then goes back, which is a little bit jarring, but it doesn't happen very often and it's not really enough to pull you out of the story entirely. So, uh, Sabriel, by Garth Nix. I highly recommend it. I'm reading the sequel right now, um, and I'm, I love the, especially just the characters. The main characters are amazing, and I, I just love reading about them. And when you get to the end of, of Sabriel, you're gonna want more of her, because she is awesome. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to read, uh, very much, but I am working on the sequel, and hopefully I'll have more books the next time that I come around. Uh, definitely want to hear if if you've read Sabriel, what your thoughts were on the book. Um, if you haven't, if it sounds like a book that maybe you'd like to check out. Uh, I will be back in two weeks, and until then, happy reading!